<clears throat> hello YouTube. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. All right. I have a dream. I have actually two I'm gonna tell on this one because um because um well actually I'm gonna put three because the other one was pretty short. I mean it was so short it's just it's like three lines uh, the one I have in August 24 2012 but this one is gonna be the dream of May the 28th 2012 first okay now um, I have been having a series of dreams I mean just coming real real quick and some are not even dreams they're, they're dreams but they're like just information put before me um, sitting up during the day or just like a trance like Ezekiel said uh, whether he was in his body or outside of it it was just like that I'm you know I'm being, I've had a lot of those okay so this is really short and, it, and sometimes it's just a blink of something uh, given to me but I know it was significant and I write it down and next thing you know it, it comes to pass so okay this one was uh, a dream that I had that I I mean I had I remember everything but it's like it's locked you know like I can't get in there but I can see glimpse of what I saw in the dream but it's like I have some dreams that God has locked that I can't go into that I only tell what he's let me remember all the way okay so um, this dream here left me with a feeling of unease and I don't remember the dream to be able to explain the whole thing I'm very sure I heard the words unholy union I think it, it has something to do with the Antichrist and the false prophet but what else can be unholy or unholy union other than some form of relationship? Okay, see? That one's really short because the rest of it was locked away. And the only thing I heard was unholy union. Okay, now the next one is June the 2nd. Okay. I saw Babylon destroyed, okay? Or something like Babylon destroyed um, I saw much evil being done and it had been going on too long okay this is what was given to me in the spirit I heard him say it's been going on too long okay he said I've heard the prayers of uh, the saints the prayers of the body of Christ and uh, that have been coming up to the Father who will put an end to such evil caused by uh, these principalities as a, in Ephesians 6 11 and 12 okay now I don't believe this was um, you know we, I don't believe nobody's ever seen God and or our Lord and Savior yet okay so it could have been um, this man could have been an angel you know this man had gray hair I mean hair so gray it was pure white and he had a gray beard that was real long and it was it was like it like wasn't like um, like ZZ top long but it was long like long enough where you have to find something in it and it was real white and his skin was kinda like real 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 dark reddish looking color brown I mean his skin tone he was like a dark colored man okay that I talked to and I didn't know no one else to talk to so I had you know he said that he had seen that the saints had been praying so basically I had been praying he showed um, to, the, to the Heavenly Father and he has heard me um, so I take that as him hearing the saints okay so um, these people the, the the principalities that were in this building they were given authority 
they were very evil okay so I went to the top with my information this evil was prideful um, you know they were carrying all kinds of manners of lust lasciviousness uh, uh, covetousness lovers of themselves and I mean this is the best way I could describe what was shown to me and what he was saying to me and um, um, you know full of pride and does and they do a lot of corruption within this big building the gray haired man didn't like this and he told me this this will be brought to an end immediately I didn't want my name mentioned when this is brought forward <laughs> this Babylonian Empire was coming down that's what he said while I'm in safety I was I was in safety because I seen me in this closet like I was in safety <coughs> excuse me I witnessed the strong men and the prideful men get thrown out and some were naked and stripped of their position and power taken away from them Oh yeah, I seen men coming out with briefcases, getting thrown out of this big white building that climbed up, and it kind of looked like Washington D.C. You know, it had those uh, poles in the front, those uh, pillars uh, in the front, and everything, and it was totally white. And I saw one guy come out just totally naked, you know, just with a briefcase. And I seen one. I know it's symbolic, you know, because I, I don't think anybody would be coming out like that, but. Uh, well, you know, I don't know, you know. <laughs> um, our thoughts are not like God's <laughs> ways, you know. So uh, we think it could be totally just like way out there. And, and it, I mean, what, what we think that God will do, he might not do. And what he will do, we don't think he do. So uh, a lot of our ways, our ways are not like God's ways. So, But what I saw was them running out. And they were angry, but they were getting out real fast like they were frightened. But they were trying to get back in, but they couldn't. Okay, he removed them from all rights. They wanted to know who did this, but it was never found out. They tried going back to the building, but were blocked by the enforcers, those that are standing around it. Um, these enforcers are of a higher authority. When this all happened, I saw people trying to trying to get in, and and there were people crying because this this uh, this Babylonian empire had come down, had been brought down, and and you know you had people just really upset and crying on the steps of the this place because there were stairs. And then I was like pillars. And you know, when I saw this, it looked, I have never been to Washington, D.C., okay? It looked just like that. And I saw these little big stairs that lead up to, you know, walking in there. Okay, so. I saw people uh, really upset because they've lost the their materials, the merchandise behind this whole Babylonian system and some people was so upset only to find out that the empire they relied on is gone and they were angry with me so I believe that maybe um, this message like you know the church uh, praying I mean because since I'm a child of God could that mean that I'm representing uh, the church, not the church, but people in it, you know, the followers, Philip, you know, that's been praying for for uh, God to um, take this evil away. Because I was protected, okay, when this thing came down. I was in protection. I was gone into protection, like as hidden. So, um, they relied on uh, it was, I mean, you know, they relied on this thing and it, it went down. They were angry and said that part. Um, and uh, they tried to open the doors of the building they were in, but to no prevail. They was trying very hard to find this evil empire. 
and all uh, that they idolized, but it's gone and destroyed, brought down and stripped naked. Um, this empire and the people that relied on it were very angry. And they were uh, upset. Um, this was finally come to an end. And all that they had worked for and everything that they had done in this life to try to have, um, to have their utopia, uh, was gone. Okay? Now, I believe that God has heard the prayers of the saints. And he's basically, well, I'm not going to say basically, uh, well, my... And say, um, uh, revelation of this is that the Babylonian system is going to come to an end, which is spoken in prophecy in the Word of God. It's uh, all through the Bible, all through Revelation. It says, it tells us this. Uh, this is going to happen. And God is assuring us that He is going to take care of it. He is going to tear it down where it will never be able to be built again. Okay, because um, I saw this building torn down. And I saw huge angels surrounding the building where these uh, these principalities couldn't get around them. Uh, basically, I saw uh, people that worked in this white building, but I don't know who they were because I wasn't given any names or faces, um, you know, with uh, or identity, you know, it was just, I saw the men, you know, they were uh, coming out of there and they were irate, just like you would see people on Wall Street, okay. Now, I have a verse that I have on here, Isaiah 24:10. the city of confusion is broken down, every house is shut up. That no man may come in. Okay, and so I go back and I rightly divide uh, the, my message from the Lord with um, His Word, and to match it up. And then uh, the other one I have is Isaiah 24:12. In the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. Okay, so great news. You know, uh, redemption draws not, okay? And God is going to take care of this Babylonian system. It's going to be tore down. And the saints have no need, um, no one to fear. We have, you know, of course, most of us know we, we should not fear. <sighs> because the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and of a sound mind. Okay, so uh, most of us uh, who are close to the Lord and have a personal relationship with Him knows this already. But I thought I'd let you know that I was given a message about this uh, um, Babylonian system, June the second, two thousand and twelve. Okay, now remember the first one I had was about the unholy union. And this one here is about the destruction of Babylonian system. About the whore really being destroyed. I mean, the, those two that come together. New world li, world religion. Then you got your new world uh, order. Um, those two together are really unholy union. And then out of that, you get, you get the Antichrist and the false prophet somewhere out of there okay I have no idea who it is and thank God I don't know because it really won't <laughs> benefit me I just know that God is God and he will take care of my enemies well you all have a blessed day and um, I close this with um, asking you all to make your comments talk to me let me know what uh, you know I mean, the dream is pretty much self-explanatory. The Lord uh, gave the message, like, really um, clear that the Babylonian system is going down. Okay. And uh, those men that are sitting in high places are going down. And uh, those that they allow control them, 
And because you know that I our war our weapons of a warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down the strongholds. So this is what God is saying that He's gonna pull down the strongholds. Okay? Well, you all have a blessed day and as usual, just leave me your comments and get with me, okay? Have a blessed day. Bye.